What's up YouTube, Tricky Traps, so I'm going to try to keep this video short, but essentially what I am doing is an unranked to diamond series, playing only Shin. I do this every season, however this season it's a little bit different and a lot better. So what we are doing this season, obviously we're only playing Shin. We are running one rune page, we are running one build for every single game. So let's get into the runes first to go over the one single rune page I have used. Since I got placed uh, in silver 2, so I went 6 and 4 in placements, I got placed in silver 2, lower than I wanted, but that's beside the point. But this is the single page I have used since my placement in silver 2. Uh, it's called Shredder Shin because Shredder Shin is something I created back in season 7. If you go watch my old YouTube videos, I created Shredder Shin with Fervor back in season 7. Obviously, items have changed since then and runes have been uh, really changed since then. So. Uh, I've adapted, I made it better in Season 8 with this setup, and then I'll, I'll explain a little bit what Shredder Shin is in uh, a few minutes, but yeah, this is essentially the rune page you want to run every single game for Shredder Shin. I have not changed a single rune on this page. This is the page I've taken every single game, so take it in. If you have questions, let me know in the comments, but yeah, this is, uh, this is it. I know you guys have been spamming me like crazy on Twitter on this account to try out Halo Blades. Listen. I gotta complete the series with this page because I'm not changing it and I don't want to play a normal game because I'm just not in the mood for normal. I'm ready to spank kids and ranked. But I will I will put out a video on Halo Blades. Spoiler alert, I don't think it's that great. So <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. And I do understand that Ultimate Hack, I moved the Domination Tree which gives it a little bit more value. I was never a fan of Ultimate Hack to begin with so I'm not... I'm not real thrilled about Halo Blades, and I'm not going to make a clickbaity video saying, "Oh, Halo Blades is so broken, it's so OP," because I don't think it is, and I'm not—I'm not that kind of YouTuber. Like, I don't—I'm not going to upload a video like that if I don't think it's actually broken. I think press the attack. This Shredder Shin build is legitimately broken. Like, I think this is so so good, and I'll show you my OP.GG stats to back it up. But yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of Halo Blades. Yes, I will try it. Yes, I will upload a video. Just don't be surprised if I don't like it. Because honestly, I don't think it's going to be what I run. I really don't. I don't I don't think it's going to work. Uh, at least not for my playstyle. So this is the page I run. And getting into my OP.GG. Let's pull this up real quick. So I am currently, as you can see, I was placed nine days ago uh, in Silver 2. And uh, I'm currently Platinum 5, 38 and 18, one loss, 68% win rate. I played Shin literally every single game. Um, I know what you're thinking, what happens if Shin gets picked or banned? Shin has never been picked. Shin was banned once, and that is because... Uh, that's because I was in a queue, I locked in Shin, they figured out I was a smurf, and somebody dodged, and so I was an idiot and popped back in the queue instantly and they target banned me. So uh, if Shin is picked or banned, I dodge. And that's exactly what I did. I dodged and waited it out. <laughs> so um, yeah, if Shin is picked or banned, I will dodge. However, if I'm in a promo, I will not dodge. Obviously that counts as a loss. So I'll have to play something else. Thankfully that has not happened yet. I've been able to play Shin literally every single game. So uh, pretty spicy. Uh, I like it. But our win rate's pretty good. Our MMR is very good. We should be able to skip from Platinum 5 to Platinum 3. And hopefully Platinum 3 to Platinum 1 once we get into the promos. I'm hoping we can get Shin, one room page, one build, unranked to diamond, and less than 100 games from Silver 2. Like, Silver 2 starting pretty low. I was really hoping for Gold 5 or higher so we could start skipping divisions right away. But we got placed in Silver 2, which means we had to expend a lot of games getting to Gold. Not a lot of games, but like 15, 20 games, however many it took to get to gold. And then we started skipping. But yeah, I, I think it's still possible to get to diamond in less than 100 games with Shin. Running this uh, simplistic style of Shin. Uh, but essentially what Shredder Shin is, you guys saw the room page, press the attack. I've taken it every single game. Uh, you can look through literally all my games. I run the same thing and the same build and everything, every single game. <laughs> it doesn't matter the matchup, it doesn't matter. I run the same room page, the same build every flipping game. So Shredder Shin is all about amping your damage and doing more of a bruiser style build with a big focus on DPS. A lot of damage. So Shredder Shin is good against tanks. It's also really good against squishies and I'll explain why it's so good against both. But essentially what you want to do is run press the attack if you guys don't know. Amps all your damage from by all sources by 8 to 12 percent. Obviously it scales. Um, so once it's scaled 12 percent bonus damage from all sources. That means Witsin's hitting harder, your Sunfire's hitting harder, Thormel's hitting harder, 
Titanic's hitting harder. Everything. And also your teammates hit harder on the target you have press the attack stacked on. So uh, you're increasing your own damage and also your teammates' damage on that target. So it's very good all around. And yes, when you look at the rune after the game, it will show you how much damage, amp damage you did and also how much bonus damage your team did to the target you had. So uh, it's nice to see the breakdown on how much you're actually helping your team. Uh, but getting into Shredder Shin and the build, um, it's mainly magic damage focused. I know Shin does mostly physical. Uh, he does mixed damage, but mostly physical because a lot of people just build, titan build Titanic Hydra and then build tank, which is going to result in a lot of physical damage. However, if you do Shredder Shin, you're actually going to deal significantly more magic damage. And when I say significantly, I mean significantly. If you look at my past games, um, there are exceptions, but if you look at my past games, I'm dealing a lot more magic damage than physical most of the time. Um, there are exceptions where I'll build Titanic first and then the game doesn't last long, so it's mostly all physical. But if I get my items, and depending on the order I build them, I'm going to be dealing a ton of magic damage. So um, that's good for multiple reasons. One, people aren't going to expect that you're dealing mostly magic. And two, uh, they're not going to be able to itemize against it because you're going to be dealing physical and magic and they're going to have to figure out which one you're dealing more of and they're probably going to guess physical, but they're going to be wrong. So it's going to make it really difficult for the enemy to itemize against you. So you're going to just going to have free reign as far as DPS goes. Um, but Shredder Shin is all focused on exactly that, shredding them. So you want Witsend to shred their MR, it actually steals it, so you gain 30 MR when it's fully stacked, which stacks happen very quickly when you have what's in, obviously you have attack speed, on top of the 18% you get from Alacrity anyway, and Inspiration, so you get a lot of attack speed with this build. Um, so you stack this quickly, so you steal their MR, and you deal a ton of magic damage just by sitting on them with Sunfire, and with Press the Attack. So Press the Attack will amp up the damage from Sunfire, it will amp up the damage from Thorn Mel, which is down here. Both of those hit for magic damage, which is, once again, amped by what's in. So you're just amping the item that amps your magic damage. So it's like a, it's a win-win. You're dealing a ton of damage. You're just significantly increasing your damage and magic damage dealt. Um, obviously I still build Titanic, so that is not magic damage. I build this mainly for the, the split push and the wave clear and also the burst on squishy targets. Once you get press the attack stacked and you pop this, they'll just get deleted. I've actually deleted uh, carries instantly before. Auto, Titanic reset, auto, or Titanic auto reset is what I meant to say. Yeah, they're just gone. Like three autos, they're gone. <laughs> it's really, really good. If you get a big lead, you can just pop squishies left and right. Very nice. And obviously this is good against tanks because, well, you're shredding their MR and then you're just sitting on top of them, dealing insane amounts of magic damage. Uh, not to mention your Q does magic as well. Uh, it's a very, very good build. Your Q also does percent damage, so uh, yeah. You're uh, you're looking pretty good here. Now, I know there are a couple items that you guys have asked me to do in the Shredder Shin build. One of them being Bork. I'm not a fan of Bork. Yes, I understand it does go along with the Shredder Shin item, but it's not that great against Squishies. And it's very expensive. Witsend is good against both, and it's very cheap. Um, so I'm not going to swap out what's in for Bork because it's just not good value. Also, Black Cleaver, please stop asking me to build Black Cleaver. Like, this is a magic damage focused build. Why would I want Cleaver? It's not going to amp much much damage because I'm doing mostly magic damage. So no, the, don't build Cleaver. That's also, again, an expensive item. The CDR is nice. Obviously, the HP is nice. But what's in? One of the most cost-effective items, if not the most cost-effective damage items for Shen. It is so cheap. If you guys didn't know, they buffed it three times and lowered the cost of it um, recently. So I think, yeah, they increased the magic damage, or magic resist. They increased the attack speed, and they lowered the cost. And they amped the, they raised the bonus magic damage on hit. So they, like, buffed it four times. So <laughs> it's really, really strong right now. If you guys haven't been building it, build it. It's spectacular. Uh, anyway, that is essentially the build and what I've been doing. Um, hoping to get to Diamond in less than 100 games. I'm curious to start playing again. I didn't play any games yet today. I didn't play any games yesterday. I took a couple days off, but we are starting up again. Um, probably, I might play later tonight. I'm not sure. If not, I'll play tomorrow. But yeah, I'm hoping I can get to Diamond in the next week. Uh, if not, like two weeks. It shouldn't take too long. I'm hoping I don't go on a losing streak because I really want to skip Divisions just so it makes it faster. Uh, but yeah, this is what I've been doing, and honestly, it has been working out so well. I mean, my stats 
my stats show enough. I mean, I'm going from silver two to platinum five, and very very quickly. Like I think this was like mm, seven days, eight days, something like that. Math, OP. Yeah. Anyway, the climb is going quick. But let me know if you guys have any questions. That is essentially the update for the series so far. I did an update when I hit gold. Do another one. I hit platinum, and I'll do another one when I hit diamond. So uh, yeah, that is that's pretty much it. Let me know if I didn't talk about something you guys wanted me to talk about. Halo Blades will come in the future, just after this Unranked to Diamond series is complete. And like I said, I'm not going to make a clickbait video on it unless it's really, really good. And newsflash, I don't think it's that good. Like, I, I really don't. Uh, I've tried it on PB. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. I think press the attack is the only way to play Shin right now, top lane, if you want to impact the game and not rely on your team to carry. Press the attack Shin will stomp enemy laners. It is... A beautiful thing like even champions that should counter you nope you just stomp them you just stomp them man I'm trying to find a game where I was just hard countered and just still stomp now keep in mind yes I am playing down in Elo however I mean game knowledge has a lot to do with it yes but if you know how to play Shin and you know how to utilize or use utilize isn't really a word is it I don't know anyway if you know how to use Shredder Shin in all of its potential, you can stop pretty much any laner. Now, my go-to ban, that is something I almost forgot to mention. The champion I ban every single game is Teemo. Why do I ban Teemo? Not because it's hard to split push against him, but because it's hard to lane with him. He will poke you out if you ton in to engage and you miss, he will kill you, and he will make you miss a lot of CS by blinding you. If you're against a good Teemo, he will blind you, especially on cannon minions, and you have no chance of getting it because, well, if you can't auto it, you can't kill it. Uh, yeah, it's really, really annoying. The main reason I ban him is because he blocks all my CS potential, and two, he's just super annoying. So, Teemo is my go-to ban. Uh, he's the only champion I've banned this series so far. I always, always, always ban Teemo. Uh, oh, I forgot to talk about what I queue for. I queue for top, primary, and jungle secondary. Uh, as you can see, I was filled there, or got my secondary there. But yeah, top is where Shin is living right now, and he is thriving in the top lane with Presti Attack. Um, one jungle game, because I got my secondary. I have not been auto-filled yet, thankfully. Uh, if I do get support, I will play Presti Attack, and I will do the same build. Obviously, my flex item will probably be... Oh, that's something... I forgot so many things. My flex item, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so, with this build, obviously, you have boots, ninjas or mercs, whatever you need. You want Witsend, you want Sunfire, you want Titanic, you want Thornmill. Those are your core items on top of your boots. The last item is called a flex item just because that's what it is. It's a flexible item you can build based off what you need slash what you want. So... It's essentially whatever you want to build. That's what the flex item is. You have freedom to build whatever you want for your last item. You can also build your flex item first if you really, really need it. If I were against a Teemo and I wanted to rush Adaptive Helm, that is okay. I'm allowed to do that, um, but I ban Teemo, so that doesn't really happen. But as you can see, literally the same build every single game. My flex item this game was Adaptive for the brand and Victor. Uh, adaptive again there. Um, wait. Oh, this was, I actually remember this game. This was a game where we already won, and I just bought my last item as I was in the fountain as the game was ending. So, um, that one, <laughs> I know it looks like I didn't do it, but no, I, I actually did in this one. Um, that was fine. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'm trying to look at all my flex items. Going for more and more there. Going for spirit there. Um, just whatever you need. I mean, essentially, it's the four items, boots, and then your flex item. So, that's what it is. Uh, there are, actually there's another game like this where the game was already ending, my team was killing the Nexus and I just bought a random item uh, in the fountain. So um, it is what it is. So don't look at this and be like, oh, you broke the rule. Technically, yes, I did break the rule, but I didn't I didn't use it, dang it. Uh, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But our MMR is really, really good. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I was gold one playing against plat one and plat two and plat three and a couple diamonds on my team. So MMR is really, really good. Uh, we should be able to skip divisions pretty easily, assuming I don't go on a massive losing streak. But yeah, I think I think I've covered everything now. I hope. But let me know if you have any questions. Besides Halo Blades and Ultimate Hat or Ultimate Hunter, whatever they call that stupid thing in Domination now. Um, yeah, let me know uh, in the comments below. Be sure to like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited for the rest of the series. Uh, once I get to Diamond, I'll be doing 
I will be doing, man, I cannot talk today or ever. Um, I'll be doing some coaching. On, uh, I'll be spectating some of your games and doing some coaching because I honestly I think it'd be a lot of fun and I think I'd be able to help a lot of people. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much pretty much all I got for you. Um, give the video a thumbs up, yeah. Subscribe if you guys haven't, and I'll see you guys later. Have a lovely rest of your ninja flipping day.